In this video, we're going to do a basic introduction to using a slider in GeoGebra. There's two ways to use a slider, and they come from right here. You can either put the slider in first and then build that parameter into your function or whatever you want to use it for, or you can build it in second. <coughs> <coughs> so I'm going to show you a couple different ways we might use a slider. So let's start off with a function, let's say x squared. And let's say I want to make this dynamic and have it depend on a slider. So I'm going to go up and choose a slider and put it in. I'm going to go ahead and let the slider be called A, but you can rename that. Click OK. Now notice my slider is not completely on my screen. Well, to be able to move the slider, you must right click. And notice the object's fixed. I unclick that. Now I can drag it because I have the move tool, the arrow. Put it where I want it. I right click and I fix it again so now it won't move when I go to slide it. So I can slide back and forth and we can see the values changing. So now let's incorporate it into our function x squared by making it the coefficient. So instead of just being x squared we'll call it ax squared. So I put an a in there, click enter, and you're going to see this value and the graph change now as I drag the slider. So I have now made the slider and our function dynamic. So that's how we can incorporate a slider. And so anything I put A into will be locked onto this slider. Let's say we want another slider. And so I'm going to add another one. And let's add it over here just to keep it out of the way. The name B is fine. And maybe I want this slider to track a point on my curve. So I can go down one way of doing this. There's many ways of putting in points. I'm going to put in the point B comma F of B. So that's my X and Y value. And now I've got this point capital A. And that point depends on this slider. And I can move it along my curve. There's a lot of different ways we can move a slider. Excuse me, incorporate a slider to move a point. These are just a couple of examples of how we can use it on a function or on a point.